What is up guys, Eccum the Artist here and today we are going to be play we are playing, we are going to be making a song using browse loops. So basically um I'll be showing you how to make a well music, not actually record a voice but at least make the beat using bra browse loops on the soundtrack. Soundtrack will be in the link below. Uh please I'm gonna try and go get it. Uh, so what you guys want to do is click browse loops here so either here or you just click this purple icon here so now what you want to do is find a beat that's like that a beat that you like so you want to find like a Alright, so I like this, so we obviously know that, so this, so when you, so when you select your B, to select it, you double click it, and it will come here, so what you guys want to do, is if you click this thing, the song goes on forever, look, wait, if I can, the song can go on forever, but, so look, this is what I mean by forever. So if I get this to the end, it just continues going. Whilst, if you keep it how it was, it just loops it. So it's it's only gonna play this if I just show you. What? So it's at the end. It's just gonna loop. So what I'm gonna try and do is let's fit that around there. So like. Alright, so let's fit that there. So we want to first find like a synth. We first want to find like a piano. Can you please leave? I like Brampton. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Told you. Alright, so let's put that there and then let's also get the metallic beat running there shall we so let's listen to how it sounds so if you've accidentally placed down a beat for instance i don't want this anymore you click it you right click it then you left click it so if you didn't right click it, all you'll be able to do is just undo, adjust the region overlap. But if you click it, right click it, left click it, you've got all these different um, uh, ones. So you could either click or delete or backspace and then yeah. So we can obviously um, uh, use loops to make these beats. Uh, so some people don't use them uh, you can also do many other things like synths, beat makers, add new track, import files but obviously this is only about loops in the next video we will talk about adding all of those stuff so now that we've got like this down I want to trim it down so if you see this little um, uh, thing this little reverse loop if you hover over it uh right click right click it and hold it hold it so like and then pull it backwards you can shorten it down so obviously that's how i want it to be and you can use it on this if i want to shorten that down but if i want to shorten that down so you can do that but right now 
bottom uh, all we need to do is just keep it like that so now what we need is a synth synths are very important so a synthesizer no I'm gonna run this through as well. You can also, when you wanna add a, a loop for instance, you can also click and hold and you can pull it out. So you see where that gray block is? That's where it'll start and it'll carry on throughout the entire song. So now let's do that and let's pull that around like that and then let's shorten that. So yeah, so you kind of get like this if you're following the exact steps. kind of get like that type of like melody or rhythm so you get the idea so there's a bunch of loops you can listen to them get an idea of where to put them and then you can do it obviously there's still lots to this like the tempo oh uh, you can turn it the uh, songs tempo down so we can also just make it go faster so changing tempo make it go really slow as well so like 80 confirm adjust so as you can see 80 it kind of spreads it along a lot and it makes it kind of slower but this is almost too slow so I'm thinking what 95 let's adjust that so you can obviously play around with the tempo and adjust it to your like size so if you want a fast beat i suggest tempos such as 100 to 150 but if you want a slow beat i would suggest 50 to 100 You can obviously play around with this uh, and change the tempo. So you can obviously change what key it is. So it's in D, B minor right now. So you could do C minor, and this will change. This will make it go a little bit sound higher. So if it's dun dun dun, it'll be like dun dun dun. It'll be like that. It's a much, it's a little bit high key. So you can obviously play around with these. Um, uh, so I've obviously played C minor. play around with these I put in C minor so here you can put like the song name so I can put anything I want basically 
basically anything so I'll you can put numbers in it basically anything but I'm gonna leave it blank for now uh, not leave it blank oh uh, I'm just gonna put that so now uh, you obviously get the idea you can add as much as you want as much as you want to this uh, so here is like as high as the volume can go so if I were to turn it down this is the highest the volume can go I obviously think around there this is to stop play go back a little bit go forward a little bit stop this is record so yeah I can record my voice so obviously you get the idea you can record the voice Uh, these are two so if I've accidentally so redo an action or undo an action so if you have any other issues if you want to support and um, give them feedback so obviously you can also share these and you can do collaborations so if you want to collaborate you can either click invite a friend or you can just click this but yeah that's enough from me if you guys enjoyed this first video uh, leave a like subscribe and click the bell and apart from that uh, peace out